So we have constructed an overall uh, equation for the reaction and now we can move forward. The electrolyte in a lead acid cell is H2SO4 aqueous. So now what this, uh, what this is trying to tell us is um, that the H2SO4 is actually what provides these H plus ions. So this means that the H plus ions over here, they are because of the H2SO4. Because why do we have H plus? Because there is an acid. So most of the Pb2 plus aqueous ions that are produced at the electrodes are precipitated as the highly insoluble PbSO4 solid. Okay, construct an equation for the overall cell reaction in the presence of H2SO4. So this is very simple. We only have to replace the H plus term with H2SO4 because H2SO4 is what actually uh, is what is actually providing us those H plus ions for this reaction. So Pb solid plus PbO2 solid plus 2H2SO4 because if we need 4H plus ions we will need 2H2SO4 aqueous giving us 2PbSO4 again now Pb2 plus will be replaced by PbSO4 because SO4 2 negative as you can see is a spectator ion and that's why it wasn't here so 2PbSO4 instead of aqueous it will be solid because they are saying it's highly insoluble plus 2H2O liquid now this is done so we can move forward now By considering the effect of decreasing Pb2, the concentration of Pb2 plus ions on the electrode potentials of the cathode and the anode reduce the effect of the presence of H2SO4 aqueous in the electrolyte on the overall E cell. Now, let's see, Pb2 plus is decreasing, right? So, uh, if Pb2 plus is decreasing, according to Le Chatelier's principle, the system will act to oppose the change, so it will shift to the left to increase Pb2 plus. So if, as the equilibrium will shift to the left, this will become more negative. Let's say minus 0 0.25. This becomes minus 0 0.25 now. And if here Pb and Pb2 plus is decreasing, so obviously this is also decreasing. So this time equilibrium will shift to the right to, to oppose the decrease. More Pb2 plus will be formed to oppose the decrease. So since a equilibrium is shifting to the right, more Pb2 plus will be formed, so uh, this will, is, is, so the electrode potential will become more positive. Let's say plus 1.6. So here first, uh, in, the, in the cathode reaction, it became more negative. In the anode reaction, it became more positive. So when we calculate overall, we'll have to flip. So as we flip, this will become plus, plus 0 0.25. And this will remain plus 1.60. And when we add these together, we get plus 1.85. So we get plus 1.85. And initially, if you remember, we calculated E cell to be 1.60. So this means that E cell has increased. So we will write increase over here. And uh, in the answer, we will we will explain whatever we explained whatever I explained to you right now that this will become more negative because uh, equilibrium will shift to the left, and this will become more positive because uh, equilibrium will shift to the right. So you can explain this using the Chatelier's principle. So this is also done. Now I think this is the last question on this topic. Okay, I am not able to erase this. So let me just. Yeah, sorry about that. So yeah, this is this question. Okay, so it's not the last. A student wishes to measure the standard electrode potential of the Fe3 plus Fe2 plus electrode. Okay, predict how the E of the Fe3 plus Fe2 plus would vary. First, let's write the electrode reaction before anything else. Yes, now, now let's see. So predict how the E of the Fe3 plus Fe2 plus would vary as the Fe3 plus is increased. So if Fe3 plus is increased, the system will act to op oppose the increase. So the equilibrium will shift to the right, making this more positive. The Chatelier's principle. 